what is up everybody welcome back to another video sorry for the inconsistency i have been sick for quite a while now but i have been learning quite a bit while being sick so this is going to be part of a new series on substance painter that i'm going to be working on the first video is going to be on how to create stitching in substance painter now the hoodie that we are working on here is from my store so if you want to get access to this it has a clo files which you can work on export um, i'm going to be breaking down the whole process in some other videos but today we're just going to be focusing on stitching so let's get straight into it so i'm going to be showing you how to set up some stitching options in substance painter so there are multiple different methods on creating stitching in substance but i'm going to be showing you two different methods in this video so the first thing we're going to do is add a full layer now everything will go white as you can see this is your base color we're then going to right click and say add black mask and this has created a mask which allows us to draw and wherever we draw or paint it shows up this is going to be the first method we're going to use i'll tell you the pros and cons while we go along so for the first method we're going to search stitch in our assets uh, and we're going to click on the stitching straight dynamic stroke and apply that to our mask and we can go into our uv left click once and then drag across and press shift and we can go around our pockets and apply our stitching like so now the cool thing about this is it's really easy to apply but the negatives are we can't adjust any other properties other than our base properties, which is like our color, our height, roughness, metallicness, etc. etc. It's not so bad if you already know um, the spacing as well as your stitching size. So, all of those properties are here in the brush, but we can't adjust them as you can see. So, you have to adjust it, then place it again and keep on working with it until you know exactly what you want to work with. So that is one of the negatives. Uh, the other thing is if you're wanting to go along a curved line, you can start to see that it gets very pointy on some sections. So you kind of have to manually draw that, which can also be quite tedious. So that's kind of the first method that you can use. I do use this when I'm happy with my spacing and there are straight lines for the stitching. So the second method is going to be using our stitch generator. So we can double click on this and then we're going to go into our paint along path. We can only do this in the 3D window. This will allow us to put stitching in the 3D window like so. So I'm just going to quickly put this around all the sleeves. And you'll notice when we go to our UVs that it's already been applied here. So the cool thing about this is we can adjust it. So if it is a little bit skew, uh, we can simply fix it like so. And then also what we can do is add more points in between if we see it looking a little bit skew and kind of just edit it until we're really happy with the results we are getting. From here, we can also now edit the size uh, the flow the spacing all of that so it really becomes more easy to use later on especially if you're working with clients that want adjustments uh, so we can decrease the spacing here uh, we can change the rotation and you can set follow path i always have follow path on because it's kind of just following where your stitching is going which normally applies in the real world when you're doing stitching with this um, paint along path tool you can also do um, pointy edges so i'll show you here i'm just going to go to this section of our hood now to create a new path uh, just go back to your full layer and then go back to your mask and it will deselect uh, we're going to go to our hood here and place some markers now you'll see that it starts to curve now to fix this you can click on um, the point that you want to be at 90 degrees or whatever angle um, and you can click toggle corner smoother so this will essentially fix how you want the stitching to go on that corner and you should be good to go now the other thing that you can do with this is say you want this section to be maybe a smaller size than the top section uh, we can click on this bottom stitch over here and decrease the pressure to zero and we can make this one 100 now you'll see that it gets a lot smaller if we apply some rotation here and decrease the spacing. You can see that it kind of creates this, this decrease in size, which is also pretty cool. So yeah, that's kind of a breakdown on how to create stitching in Substance Painter. I hope this video did uh, help. I'm going to show you the final results in Blender now with some renders. Uh, if you want to see how I created this final render, make sure to drop a like, comment, sub and stick around. I'll be dropping it soon uh, if you need any help make sure to join the discord as always i'm happy to help if you guys are wanting to get access to these exact files make sure to join my vrp channel in my discord uh, where you get access to all the stuff on my store um, as well as any future youtube videos as always guys thank you so much for the support see you in the next one peace